Police and city leaders are asking for more witnesses to call and help them sort out what happened. But getting them to come forward is part of the problem. Local 12's Angela Ingram is in the West End with how the city is trying to convince them to share what they know. Angela. Well, Rob, today the police chief was giving city council a briefing on where the case stood. And in the process of doing that, a program came up in that conversation. The program was put together after the Cincinnati Police Department was having difficulty getting people to come forward after many clearly witnessed the murder of a young girl. Now they're looking to that program again to help calm people's fears about retaliation. Cameo nightclub was filled with people the night of the shooting. Some are cooperating with police to catch the shooters. Others have chosen to stay silent. That event at that club at Cameo, those individuals had to feel confident that no one would say anything. But city leaders are hoping to help break that code of silence with a program called CROW, or Cincinnati Citizens Respect Our Witnesses. It was started after the murder of Kelsey Crow when witnesses were afraid to talk to police. This is an absolute perfect case for Crow, not just for the mere fact that um, Crow offers assistance and protection to those who um, come forward with information to help solve a violent crime. The Crow program has already seen success. Pastor Mingo says it's important that young people know there is protection for them if they come forward. A lot of younger people, if they're peers, and they don't want to trouble on their peers, um, they grow up in a get mine while I can society. Community leaders are hoping Crow and Crime Stoppers will help and that someone will want to do the right thing. I'm going to step forward, I'm going to do what's right. Because if I don't do what's right, the streets are not only really not going to be safe for me, they're not going to be safe for my children, they're not going to be safe for my grandchildren, they're not going to be safe for my parents and my grandparents. And the program isn't just a protection program. There's also an emotional element to it, an emotional coping element to it. Anyone who has been a witness to this violence, they say they will help them with coping mechanisms, with counseling, and that way they can deal with any post-traumatic stress as a result of being involved in that shooting. Reporting live from the Criminal Investigation Section, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Angela, thanks very much. You can find a link to the Crow website at local12.com. Stick with Local 12 as the story continues to develop. We'll stay on top of any new information for you.